Before beginning, be sure to follow all electrical safety precautions. To access the fan wheel, you will need to remove the side panels and the heater panel and cover. Remove the five screws from the side panel with a T15 driver. Once screws are removed, slide the panel forward to release from the back slot and then tip the top in and remove the panel. Repeat the same process for the other side panel. The heater cover can be removed next. Remove the three screws from the front. The heater panel is supported in the back by a channel, so when you pull the panel out, be ready for the back end to drop. Insert a sheet of cardboard to protect the interior of the oven. Insert two boards cut to the height of the chamber to support the back end of the ceiling. Remove the two fasteners in the back. Be sure not to damage the porcelain heater lead insulator. Remove the fasteners from the front and pull down to expose the fan wheel. There are two set screws on the fan wheel that need to be loosened with a 5 inch long M4 Allen wrench. Once loose, you can slide the fan wheel off the shaft. Here you can see the set screws. To access the motor, remove the top cover. Disconnect the motor lead from the controller. Disconnect the ground wire with a T20 driver. Remove the four motor mounts with a T30 driver. Then remove the motor and stand on end. Remove the base plate with a T20 driver. Attach the base plate to the new motor. Set the motor back in place and secure to the oven with four fasteners. Connect the motor lead to the controller in the exact position you removed it. Refer to electrical schematic if you are unsure. Reconnect the ground wires. When replacing the fan wheel, use quarter inch key stock to ensure the proper gap between the oven and the fan wheel. Find the flat part of the motor shaft to align the fan wheel. Place the key stock on the fan wheel and slide up until tight. Then tighten the two set screws to secure the fan wheel. Make sure the fan wheel turns freely. Then you can reinstall the heater panel. When replacing the heater cover, be sure to set the back panel into the back channel. And then replace the three screws on the front. Replace the side panels and you're finished.